Harris weighs more breaks with Biden as he keeps injecting himself into the campaign. Kamala Harris are heading into the final month of the 2024 presidential race, still wrestling with how much distance she can credibly claim from Joe Biden as she looks, she looks for more ways to weave in breaks with him on the campaign trail. But she keeps getting pulled back to his side for official business at the White House. And he keeps injecting himself into the conversation. Harris aides are looking at rolling out new plans and promises for what Harris would do as president, in part to directly demonstrate notable differences, like in her recent more blunt speeches about abortion rights and tackling the southern border. The challenge of having so little time left in such a short race, one advisor to the vice president told CNN, is when you're trying to reach undecided low-intensity voters, how do you actually communicate difference with Biden? Running as an extension of the president is not a strong position, Harris. Shaitoshi Kusama is not just a developer. If rumors are true, he is a real hero. There are some massive developments going on behind the scenes. Shiba Inu is the top concern. And if things get how they are supposed to, the Shiba Inu ecosystem will change forever. It will never be the same anymore. But what is actually happening? And how come people are not talking about it yet? Well, let me explain. Disclaimer. In a Twitter post today, the pseudonymous lead developer of the Shiba Inu ecosystem shared some personal news. He announced that he's leaving the Middle East. After having an incredible time there, Kusama highlighted how much he enjoyed spending time with his cousins and learning about their culture. His tweet really showed his appreciation for the cultural exchange and the new experiences he gained during his visit. Although Kusama restricted comments on his post, some followers found a way to share their thoughts by quoting his tweet. Vet Kusama who is the sibling of the Shiba Inu lead developer and a well-known figure in the Shiba Inu community, said, expressed excitement about the possibility of Kusama visiting the Middle East again. On the other hand, a Shiba Inu fan urged Kusama and the rest of the team to follow through on their promises to the community and questioned why Kusama decided to turn off comments on his tweet. Some users are also curious about what Kusama's trip to the Middle East means for the cryptocurrency. It's still unclear if his visit had any connection to Shiba Inu. However, the timing of Kusama's post is quite interesting. At the same time, he announced, leaving the Middle East, their partner's token got listed on a major Dubai exchange. The Shiba Inu development team even use their official Twitter account to congratulate their uh, I partner on the coin listing. This timing has caught a lot of attention. On one hand, we have Kusama visiting the Middle East, and on the other, a top Dubai exchange partner. List there. Many people believe this isn't just a coincidence. They think there's a connection between Kusama's visit and the listing, suggesting that his trip might have had something to do with this new development. Kusama's visit to the Middle East has been a big part of the Kusama's development, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. Speculation has increased even more, and this is where things get really interesting. Just two days ago, the Dubai financial regulator updated its rules on crypto assets. The Dubai Financial Services Authority announced changes to its cryptocurrency token regulations to enhance the regulatory framework within its special economic zone. On June 3R day, they stated that these updates were based on a consultation paper from January 2024. Here's how it works. The Dubai Financial Services Authority first gathers feedback and insights from various stakeholders through a consultation paper. This process helps them understand the needs and concerns of the crypto market. After reviewing the feedback, they draft new rules or amendments. These changes take time to implement because they must ensure the regulations are comprehensive and effective. But what are these updates? 
What does Shiba and you have to do with it? And why Shaitoshi Kusama's recent visit to the Middle East was perfect timing? Well, well. Let's find out. The update affects the ability to offer units of external and foreign funds investing in recognized crypto tokens. Simply put, this change impacts institutions managing hundreds of millions, often billions of dollars, interested in crypto investing. In its recent consultation paper, the regulator acknowledged that fund and asset managers found the existing rules too strict. Since the regime was enacted, they were only able to invest in five recognized crypto tokens, which upset many big funds. Because five is too few. While the regulator believes that the recognition process is crucial for maintaining a stable market, they also considered allowing domestic funds to make limited investments in unrecognized crypto tokens, as long as these investments don't exceed 10% of the fund's total value. And from the regulator's perspective, this move makes sense. It balances maintaining control over the market while giving funds more flexibility. It encourages investment and growth within the sector without compromising overall stability. And this is where, of course, speculations arise. With Dubai potentially opening the doors to hundreds of millions of dollars that could flow into the crypto market and the restrictions possibly loosening up, funds might now be able to invest in unrecognized crypto assets, which if I get that right, includes the entire crypto market. So the timing of Shaitoshi Kusama's visit to the Middle East, exactly during these updates, makes us wonder. If his visit was indeed a business trip, could it mean that he was presenting the Shiba Inu coin as a viable project for big funds? Or is it just a matter of time? At this point, it's pure speculation, but it would kind of make sense. It seems to align well with the context of these regulatory changes and the potential opportunities they present. However, it's a known fact that Shiba Inu has already established a strong presence in key regions of the Middle East, particularly in Dubai. Earlier this year, Shiba Inu made waves as a prominent sponsor of the prestigious 2024 Web3 Summit event in Dubai, drawing over 3,000 attendees and nearly 100 speakers. This is the first time that Shiba Inu has made waves as a prominent sponsor of the prestigious 2024 Web3 Summit event in Dubai, drawing over 3,000 attendees and nearly 100 speakers. They also sponsored Token 2049. Another crypto-related event held in Dubai in April, where they engaged with industry leaders and even participated in a Polo Cup competition. Moreover, top Dubai-based exchanges like CETOX and CoinU have rolled out support for Shiba Inu ecosystem tokens. Whether Kusama's recent trip to the Middle East will further drive Shiba Inu's adoption in the region remains to be seen but it's certainly a possibility. The groundwork has already been laid with Shiba Inu's significant investment in the crypto industry, and it's certainly a possibility. There is a significant presence at key events and its integration into Dubai's crypto ecosystem. So, Kusama's visit could potentially build upon these foundations and strengthen Shiba Inu's foothold in the Middle Eastern market. And let's not forget how important the Middle East is. This region is incredibly wealthy due to its abundant oil reserves and strategic location for global trade. The wealth generated from oil has led to immense financial power in countries like the United Arab Emirates, including Dubai. This wealth can make a huge impact on Shiba Inu for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the Middle East represents a significant market with investors who are eager to explore new opportunities, including cryptocurrency. With their substantial financial resources, individuals and institutions in the region have the potential to invest significant sums into projects like Shiba 
Inu. Moreover, the Middle East's strategic position as a global trade hub means that successful adoption of Sheba. I knew in this region could lead to increased exposure and adoption worldwide. As the cryptocurrency gains traction among Middle Eastern investors and businesses, its visibility and credibility could grow, attracting more interest and investment from other regions. So, tapping into the wealth and influence of the Middle East could be a game. Changer for Shiba Inu, opening up new avenues for growth and development in the cryptocurrency market. And Dubai, for example, and its participation would be very, very good. In recent times, Dubai has been increasingly embracing cryptocurrencies, and it has become the light of the crypto community. Unlike the United States, which has maintained a somewhat hostile attitude towards this digital asset, Dubai's progressive. Stance has been a breath of fresh air. However, as the upcoming US elections draw nearer and the popularity of cryptocurrencies continues to grow, there is a glimmer of hope that the United States will also become more crypto friendly. Crypto has already become a topic of extensive discussion within the U.S. government, even among presidential candidates. This discussion reason gives reason to believe that change may be on the horizon. And here's something you should understand. Crypto users advocate for global crypto friendliness due to the potential benefits it offers. Beyond revolutionizing traditional financial systems, Widespread crypto adoption can drive financial inclusivity, enable borderless transactions, and fuel innovation. By creating a welcoming environment for cryptocurrencies, countries can unlock opportunities for economic growth, technological advancement, and increased financial accessibility on a global scale. This is a great opportunity for crypto investors to take a step forward. But what is your opinion on that? Comment down below. I'd be eager to read your opinion. If you are curious to find more, then make sure to click on one of the videos you see on screen. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, so, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.